Today we are exploring Wellington City. We're going to just turn it down a notch. We've been doing loads these past four days, but we haven't really had time to actually just have a walk around the city and just, just appreciate it for what it is. So let's do that. This morning we wake up at Trek Global Backpackers and the plan for today is simply to just go around Wellington, explore, it's a really artsy city and Laura and I are really looking forward having some kind of more relaxing day. So we start making our way to the Wellington waterfront which we've heard loads about and on our way it's beautiful and sunny weather, we're checking out some murals, a lot of street art and in true Wellington spirit the weather just absolutely turns by the time we get to the waterfront. So as we're walking along the Wellington waterfront, there's a lot of art, a lot of sculptures, but in particular, these hidden concrete blocks with poems carved into them. And they're hidden in really obscure places, so we're trying to find them along the Wellington waterfront. I'm even reading a few to Robin because his accent is just too terrible to, to even say these words. It's not long until the clouds transform into a massive rainstorm. It's always like that in New Zealand. The weather changes so quickly. So we brave the rain for a wee while around the city, going around, taking some pictures, just showcasing the artsy side of Wellington. But after such a long time under the rain, it's time for us to warm up. And where better to warm up than the Capital Market, which is a massive food court in the city centre of Wellington and has heaps to offer. So we head to one of the funkiest coffee shops that we can find on this um, Capital Market and we are warming up with a very hot drink. We are drying ourselves a little bit, Laura is drying the camera and we're basically just bracing ourselves to spend the afternoon exploring even more of Wellington. So after warming up with a nice hot drink, we are making our way back onto the streets of Wellington where this time we notice there's even more art in Wellington. This place is so artsy. And there's a lot of things happening here. There's a lot of posters of events going on and yeah, a lot to see. I'm not crossing. So the architecture in Wellington is very Victorian-esque, which is a lot different to what we've seen in New Zealand so far. And we're wandering around for a, for a long time and realize that we're getting ourselves a bit lost. We end up back on the waterfront, which we're not really complaining about. It's a nice place, but we are heading for a very specific street that we've heard so much about. So now that we have a plan, we are heading back toward the city and it really feels that we've took the same streets twice, but Either we're seeing completely different art or either there's just heaps of streets and heaps and heaps and heaps of art. It's absolutely crazy how every single street looks different in Wellington. There's no two streets alike. But we are now heading to Cuba Street, which is probably the most famous street in Wellington. Cuba Street is the hipster joint of Wellington. It's got a bohemian vibe about it. It is absolutely full of different cafes and this really fun water feature that I could just stare at all day. Because we forgot to eat after our plans were totally messed up because of the rain, we decided to go to another amazing cafe in Wellington. This one is the Enigma Cafe and we treat ourselves to some pies, some cake. Oh my God, amazing. 
now that we've got our sugar rush we are heading back around the city we are actually trying to find the theater where we are actually going tonight little did i know that theaters are actually in wellington mostly just a pub with a stage but we've been told that there was some awesome live comedians tonight so we have to find that pub can't really recall the name because we arrived there way after dusk so we end the night with a comedy night we see some awesome comedians have a beer or two and it's a great way to sort of end the uh, artsy eventsy side of wellington that this city is famous for sun is shining sun is shining all around us all around us children playing okay that's beyond my vocal range